Hello, it's Carl Wilhelm Redviker, the CEO of uh, Adline, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a very quick demo of the platform and uh, Adline and how it works. Uh, so, uh, but first, before I show you the platform, I want to show you the science and the algorithm and optimizations behind the Adline platform before I show you how it works. So, uh, what we have uh, created is a digital marketing platform which is powered by machine learning and the machine you can see here we have put a face on the AI and uh, we have called her Alina and the reason we started with uh, this is because in today's uh, digital landscape there are a lot of different tools and they you have to do the exact same steps and uh, repeat the steps and create accounts and install scripts and build ads and you have to do that over and over again and you have to work in all those different channels and uh, in and out so what we have done is that we have unified all those platforms into a all-in-one, very simple, easy to use platform where we have uh, probably removed, stripped away 80% of the functionality you don't need to do digital marketing. Inside this platform, we got Facebook, Instagram, Google Search and Google Display and uh, a lot of different channels as well. Uh, this platform allows you to create hundreds of ads very quickly and very easy uh, and then when you have created all those ads we adline distribute it across uh, different channels very fast and then we optimize all those ads and we turn on and off the ads that don't work and then we allocate the budget to the most profitable ad possible the data behind all of this is uh, what we call uh, attribution modeling so what we have launched here is a, uh, a uh, tracking that will uh, follow the user from first time they see an ad to they do a conversion on their website. So for example, uh, a lot uh, of the companies and the people and consultants today probably measure uh, and, uh, the, the last click as the conversion. Uh, so for example, if a user clicked on a Google ad and then they did a conversion on the website, then that Google ad will get all the credit but in reality, we also get the Facebook ad because probably the Facebook ad uh, created brand awareness first and then the Google ad scored the conversion. This means that both Google and Facebook plays a very important role in this whole customer journey. So we can't, we can't leave Facebook or Google alone. Both of those platforms play a very important role because Facebook probably built the brand awareness first and then Google scored the goal. So we need all the steps in this user journey in order to generate conversions. So Elena or machine uses this, uh, this data to optimize all the ads across the different channels. So when we see an ad that doesn't work, when we see an ad that delivers traffic that uh, bounces uh, or leaves the website immediately, then that tells us that uh, this audience is wrong. And then Alina will optimize those ads and try a new audience. So what, how this machine works is that we collect data and then we train the algorithm automatically. And then Alina will try this algorithm out and then she collects feedback, uses that feedback, optimizes and launches the campaign again. And then we collect data, train the algorithm, try it out. And so it goes uh, repeatedly like a feedback loop. And just to disclose three important elements in our uh, algorithm, uh, it is cost per click. Our algorithm is based on cost per click, bounce rate on the website, how fast or quickly a visitor leaves the website, and cost per acquisition. So these are three different uh, factors that uh, or metrics that plays a very important role in our algorithm and will help drive better performance and more profitable ads uh, for your company. Now let's head over to the platform itself. So what you can see here is uh, we got uh, a uh, overview of total conversions. We got an overview of total visitors and then we can see page performance and then we can see the conversions and which channels they come from. And then you can see conversions uh, uh, per device. Let me show you the visitor journey. So here you can see, for example, visitor number 4814. He came from a uh, Google ad. 
but didn't be on the site for very long, so he left the site pretty fast. And this Intel uh, is valuable for us because we know that uh, that audience didn't work pretty well. So we have to test a new audience because uh, the traffic that came from this Google ad wasn't very relevant and that's probably why he left the site that fast. Uh, so that's, that's how we optimize the ads. Let's go to the campaign section. So here's, here's a active user on our platform and uh, he got uh, different, uh, different, yes, different campaigns here. And let's check out the Facebook campaign first. And as you can see, he got 1.3 million impressions and 6,900 clicks for a cost per click on 2.34 Norwegian crowns, which is uh, very low. And we, the algorithm is uh, focused on uh, reducing the cost per click as well as uh, generating conversions at a low cost CPA and bounce rate, of course. So what we can see here is that uh, the client has created uh, a few different ads. It's almost the exact same message, but the image is uh, different. So uh, the user here wanted to test different images and find out which one works the best. So what you can see here is that uh, this image here and this image here works the best. So what happens in the back end is that we optimize the ads and we allocate the budget to those ads here because they work the best and they generated the most conversions on the website. So then, then we turn off the other ads and we allocate the budget to those ads instead. And then we scale that ad both horizontally and vertically. Uh, and then what you can see here is that uh, the just to show you the campaign settings, we have stripped away almost all the functionality you don't need. Uh, and then what you have to do is that you add location, then you add a target group, you give it some keywords and some Facebook interests and Facebook pages. Uh, and then you add the budget and then you click start. And then you got the campaign that uh, we optimize and uh, will help drive better performance. So if we go to the search campaign here, uh, we got uh, it's the same thing or it's a different message, but but it works the same here. Uh, in backend, we uh, we allocate the budget to the ad that works the best based on uh, the traffic that lands on your website. Uh, location, target group, budget, start. And then we got some basic uh, data here. Uh, that uh, is telling you where the traffic is coming from, the gender, the device, uh, age, which of the ads that works the best. You can see bounce. So this, this ad here got a lot of bounce. So this ad doesn't work pretty well. So that, uh, that means that we turn that ad off. Then we can see which keywords is uh, the best. So let's let's uh, and then then the remarketing campaign. This uh, remarketing campaign got started yesterday and is picking up data now. Uh, so let me show you how you choose a remarketing campaign. You choose go down to the advanced uh, sections and then you choose use remarketing, and then you build your audience remarketing list based on the page visited. So let me just show you how to create a campaign. Let's call it uh, multi-channel, multi-channel ads. And then create new ads. And then let's start with, for example, uh, this is our menu of ads. Let's start with Google display banner set. So here you can see we got all the different formats and then click create. And we uh, are heading to creative studio here. Uh, so instead of sitting in Photoshop, you can create templates that will uh, fit into all the different formats very quickly. So now we got a whole banner set that probably would take a lot more time when you sit in Photoshop and design every single format uh, individually. So here we got the banner set and let's create it. And as you can see here, we got a uh, complete banner set for all the different formats. And then let's add a Facebook and Instagram ad as well. Uh, and as you can see, it's fill in the blanks and it is uh, yeah, supposed to go pretty fast.
So uh, what you do is that you add an image like this, and then you fill out the form. You add some uh, add a description, you add a title, and you add link description, and then you insert the destination link, and then uh, you hit then you hit save here add the destination and then let's just call it facebook add one so now we got a facebook ad and uh, now we can uh, for example dupl duplicate ad three times and then just make some adjustments maybe we want to try a different image to see if uh, that image works better than the other one now we can add, uh, let's try this one, Look, this one looks uh, cool, and then I just uh, fit it inside here, and then let's leave the title because we only want to test the image. And now we got a, uh, now we got two different images here, let's add the third one, like this, my images, let's take, uh, Let's go for this one. And then hit save. Let's call it Facebook ad number three. Okay, now we got three different Facebook ads, which also will be shown on Instagram. And then we got a whole banner set. And then we are missing a Google search campaign. So let's take this one. Then let's, for example, uh, create a, a campaign for ourselves. Create multi channel ads. Try ad line for free today. Get started. And then let's add some call out extensions and we got some on uh, some here so let's just add those so now we got a uh, title we got a description and we got call outs and let's add some site links as well just to take uh, just to take more uh, uh, ad space because when you add add uh, text links then you get more ad space in uh, Google which will help you drive more uh, clicks so now we got a complete Google ad and let's save it. Add the destination link. Save. So let's, uh, for example, duplicate this as well. And then we can go in and, uh, and uh, do some adjustments, edit the title a little bit. And then we got different tests there as well. So now we got a complete banner set, some Facebook and Instagram ads and search uh, campaigns. And we created this campaign uh, very quickly. And now we can reach our audience in 80% of uh, all the platforms that are out there. Because this is uh, probably where your audience exists uh, today on Facebook, Instagram, or Google search. This covers 80% of uh, all the platforms out there. So now what you have to do is choose a location. For example, we want to target uh, Let's say uh, San Francisco. Then we add that uh, city here, and then let's say we want to target. Uh, let's say we want to target across different countries. We want to target UK as well. And then, then uh, you should add uh, some keywords, multi-channel. Let's try that one. Wait, multi-channel advertising. And then <clears throat> what you will get is multi-channel ads. <clears throat> then we got some uh, keywords here and then you can uh, select all 
they will be added to your keyword list here. Uh, so this is uh, uh, Google search keywords. Now we are just uh, missing the Facebook audience and what we recommend is that you have to think about which page do you think your audience is following on Facebook. So let's say our audience is uh, uh, medium-sized businesses that uh, yeah, yeah, uh, medium sized businesses. So let's, for example, uh, take Time Magazine or Time Magazine here, or let's say Wall Street Journal here, because I believe my audience follows that page. And then let's test it. And then, for example, we can add TechCrunch as well. TechCrunch, okay, that's a, uh, yeah, a tech magazine. And let's take, for example, uh, people that are interested in marketing, and uh, for example, a uh, for example a mar marketing tool, Marketo. Yeah, Marketo is a big marketing tool, and I believe my audience follows that page as well. So let's target this audience, and then we got several uh, several Facebook pages with audience that we can target here, and then you add your budget, connect your Facebook page. And then you hit start campaign and then we are live and then we will start uh, testing the algorithm optimizing in the back end so this is uh, ad line in a nutshell so very fast campaign creation and we optimize your ads in the back end and allocate the budget to that that works the best that way you increase your ROI and performance so if you need help with setup or you want to uh, get help with the strategy behind the campaign, then you can book a uh, demo call with us and I will help you or uh, some of my specialists and then we can get started. Thank you very much for seeing this demo call.